Hello, I'm Sean Weston, Managing Editor of Foodbev.com. In this interview, my colleague Claire Phoenix talks to Martin Speer and Marcus Zierka from Pure Product, who won three awards at the Beverage Innovation Functional Drinks Awards for their beauty drink called Aku. Hello, this is Claire Phoenix at the Four Seasons Hotel in Washington. I'm just about to interview winners of three awards from last night's Beverage Innovation or Functional Drinks Awards. Here I have Marcus Zieger and... Martin Spear. And I'd like to ask you both, what was the inspiration for Oku, this lovely looking beauty drink? Oh, we just were walking around the city and uh, just asked, um, or I asked a friend, why can't you drink cosmetics? And that was four years ago, and then we we started the whole process of creating the product, um, and um, yeah, in cooperation with uh, leading um, scientists uh, in, in Germany, because we wanted to create something very profound, and at the same time something very cool. Mm-hmm. And what and is I the flavor? It's... What does it taste of? Oh, it's a mix of how we call them six power berries. And those, that's palm grenade, cranberry, um, acai or acai, acai, yeah, acai for us. black currants, aronia, and we mixed it with extracts from green and white tea, and uh, we have some uh, beauty enhancing vital substances in it like vitamins and copper and zinc and biotin. Fantastic. So and who were your partners? Who who did you actually work with? Oh, well, those were uh, three German universities and some uh, free. Or some private dermatologists. Yes. And that was our team. And us. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. And um, where are we going to go next? What, what's your, what are your hopes for the brand? I mean, we're currently really focusing on the whole fashion, lifestyle, music scene. And that's, I think, where really people get our mes- message. And we're home where beauty is home. And that's basically the, the core of our strategy. We're everywhere where people do something beautiful, feel very beautiful, and uh, yeah, we had um, some great things going on at the Berlin Fashion Week, and I think that's where we are home, and there's no other trend in that world. Mm-hmm. Now, how did you come to work with Rexam and have the, is it the fusion bottle? The fusion bottle, yeah. Oh. We went to the uh, Brau Priviale, which is one of the oh. biggest fairs in, uh, in Germany, in Nuremberg. And we went there 2007, and they had this huge bottle displayed, and they, I think it was still uh, only a project for Wrexham, and um, it might be that we were one of the first people who, who said, okay, we're interested in that, and maybe Wrexham, your idea is as new as our idea, and maybe that just perfectly fits. Lovely, yeah. And the design's great. Who did the actual design? Oh, we did that together with a great uh, uh, Munich-based advertising agency called Bloom Project. And uh, we worked together with one of the world's leading neuromarketing um, research centers and um, to create something which can be understood by everyone globally. And that's why we came up with this very basic, very childish story. Mm-hmm. But so we... we we but actually a complex form- formulation. Yeah, yeah it is. Mm. So it should be the perfect easy mix between something very scientifically profound and on, the, on, the, on, on this communication level, something very easy you get from the very first second. Mm-hmm. And, and where did the name Oku come from? I was inspired by Cocoon. Yes. And so the, the, it's this natural story, this natural transformation oh, story. Oh, the comes from. Yeah. yeah, I see. So that's very... That's really nice. And Marcus, what is your role with the company? Well, I met these guys like three years ago when they just started the whole process. Like they, we met at a, yeah, at a, a show, show, a fashion show, and they told me the story. Yeah, we are thinking about developing a drink that's yeah, a beauty nectar. And I said, yeah, okay, of course, let's just uh, keep in touch <laughs> because yeah, you know, you, you, I, I I don't know if I. If it was my idea, I think I wouldn't have the whole energy and the whole mm. courage to put all my effort in that. So you're really the, the, back, <clears throat> the backer of the whole business. I yeah, and then I met them again like in summer last year. And then they said, yeah, we launched a drink now and, and we, we joined some nice, um, yeah, really high class premium uh, restaurants and, and stores in Berlin. So And I'm from Berlin, so let's meet. And then they showed me the drink and what 
they made out of it, and it was really like. And now so we're lucky. Tastes tastes so good, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. It tastes good. And I thought about okay, I could introduce to this guy, that guy, and to these people, and so this is how it, the whole story started. And now I'm done with my studies. I studied business and administration. So that's a perfect chance for me to... Excellent to exercise all yeah. what you've learned. Fantastic. Exactly. And, and you're still studying, I understand. Yeah, I'm still studying. So, um, Where are you studying? I, I'm currently in Berlin, and before one year in the US. Oh, and which area were you studying? Uh, in the US? Or no, it was, we, oh, which area? Yeah. It's, um, I did... Um, I currently am doing business administration, mm. and before it was um, mass communication. So what, what's your um, final hope for the, for the drink? And where do you ultimately hope to end up? Oh, I can say it in one simple sentence. It's that we want to quench the world's thirst for beauty. For beauty? Oh, that's a lovely phrase. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Great. <laughs> Thanks again for downloading this podcast. For more news, analysis, opinion, interviews and multimedia for the food and beverage industry, go to foodbev.com.